I need to have moved a little. One's a black Honda, the other is that maroon Toyota, both kind of in the driveway area. And I can show you where I want you to go, kind of, or how I want you to I'm an old guy has friends for us. You know, I had a, you can sit down for a second. I have a brother I've been trying to get older for about three years, and he's always all over the world just like Kevin, so I never get to see him. But early this week, I said, I want you to go to this particular coffee shop. I normally don't go there. He said, I want you to go there this morning. And he says, bring some art in there. So I had a chance to witness to a couple of people with the, with the art. But all of a sudden, I hear this voice behind me. Mike, Mike, and look around. There's our friend Bruce Allen. How many know Bruce Allen? Yes. He's been on Sid Roth. Yeah, he's written a number of books. He just moves in the globe. He's all over the world. That's why I never see him. We've been trying to get him back here well, for about been three here years. A number of times, too. But he hasn't been here for It's been about three years. So it's so good just sometimes to hear the voice of God where he says, I want you to go and have those divine appointments. And I just really enjoyed. He said he might come in September. I don't know what. He was just here to see his son and flying back out to Spokane. But, but. I do want to make an announcement from from Bruce. On August 12th to the 16th, it's like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in Spokane, he's doing his conference there. They're having Sundar Singh, the guy from India. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, so they're going to have him there. Uh, and so uh, and so I encourage, there's, I don't think there's a registration fee, but, you know, there's some hotels. So I'd go in as well. I'll talk to you more about it on Monday. But uh, it's, a, it's a Tuesday through Friday, which works good for me. I'll probably come back Friday. I think it goes through Saturday, but I'll come, probably come back on Friday. But I tell you, so I just think he's one that often he has encounters with Moses and Elijah. and Just incredible, you know, taking to heaven quite a bit. God has used him all through India in a, in a massive way in India. And so, uh, and so Bruce has done conferences with him in Australia and different parts of the world, but uh, in Singapore. But, so I just keep that date. It's a, it's a Tuesday through... Friday or Saturday, be back on Friday. Yeah. But but it'll be a good time maybe to do a church uh, retreat to Spokane for that that four or five days. How many? So if you want it, I'll pass the word around over the next month or two. But uh, but uh, get hotels over in Spokane. It? It's August 12th to the 16th, I believe. And so, uh, how many know who Sundar is? Vaguely. Vaguely, but I've, we've listened to them here on the internet. I've listened to them quite a bit over the uh, over the years, over the last two or three years. In fact, uh, he goes to Joseph Sweet's church a lot in Lancaster, and, uh, and uh, so pray about that. Another thing to pray about is, uh, how many know Kathy Walters? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was talking to Kathy, Kathy Walters. You know Kathy pretty well. She's pretty drunk, you know. So she's, like, she's like Kevin. She's always drunk in the Holy Ghost. But she, she'd like us to bring her out here sometime, you know, and get a, something going with her. But she's a lot, she's a lot of fun. And so I'm uh, just letting you know if sometime this fall we might just pray about that and see if we can get a bigger venue. And on July 5th, we're having Henry Groover, and he's going to be over at Salt Mike Church on Pack Highway. So I'll tell you more about that later. Maybe we're going to do a 2 o'clock and a 6 o'clock service on July 5th on a Saturday with him. Brother. Mike? Yeah, honey. I might have just spoken. I think it's the black one, but it's the one right down here. I have got no takers yet. Is it a navy Prius? It's not a navy blue. Well, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> it's flat to me. We're, 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 no, we're nose to nose with Jerry's car. A tan interior. Yeah, the fuzzy, the fuzzy seat covers. Oh, it's green. That's a green car. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think glasses would have helped back to the... Yeah. I, Just pull it a different angle, I think. Oh, oh there we go.
Thank you, Father. Lord, we just thank you tonight, God. You're the everlasting God, Father. We just Amen. praise you tonight, Father, Amen. for your mercy, Father. God, we're just amazed by who you are tonight, Father. Father, just drop us into you, God. We're just amazed by who you are and your presence, Lord, Father. We're just amazed by your power tonight, You are enthroned above the heavens, the earth and all creation.
How can we bring heaven to earth if we don't know what heaven's like? So you're bringing so many to heaven so they know what heaven's like so they can bring it back into the earth, Father. We thank you for this new generation that's going to heaven more and more to bring heaven into the earth, Father. I pray for this new generation that says our children should be for a sign and wonder throughout all Israel, Father. Our, pray our children, God, would have supernatural visitations and supernatural revelations in our grandchildren, God. But we see a young generation, God, just like John the Baptist in the womb would come to, to know you, even the older generation like Anna and Simeon, God, they waited day and night in the temple. They knew who you are. They did not miss the hour of their visitation, Father. God, we ask, God, that you wake up the church and, God, you're about to come and we not miss the hour of our visitation, Father. We ask for a grace, God, to go in the secret place right now and to begin to wait upon you. God, we ask for a secret place of anointing that we can sit at your feet like Mary and get to know you like David and play our string instruments onto you, Father, to fall in love with you, Father. We just pray that the heavens be open over this place, even in this room tonight, God, that the heavens be open, God, there be an open heaven, Father, as we begin to worship you in the next few minutes, God. We just pray that you come and visit us right now. Come and visit us, God. There'll be a portal and open heaven over this room right now. Oh, Baba Shandari Asiki, the Andari Asiki, Andari Andari Asiki. Father, we just thank you, God. There'll be just an open heaven, Father, over this place, God. We just thank you're worthy of it all, Father. You're just worthy of it all, Father. We just praise you, Father. We just praise you what you want to do, Father.
Someone here's got a problem in their uh, right ear. Father, I just speak to a right ear right now. I just speak for healing right now into a right ear right Thank now you, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Lord, just remind me of a name of a book called Vision Beyond the Veil. God says, get ready for visions beyond the veil this year. Get ready. This will be a year or two of visions beyond the veil where God's going to, some of your eyes have never been open to see, but say, God, this is a season. I believe that that God's about to open your eyes to see that you've never seen before. They're on the road to Emmaus and didn't recognize Jesus and all of a sudden they had communion. They recognized Him the breaking of the bread. And a lot of you sense Jesus. You know He's around you, but God says you're going to see. You're going to recognize Him. You're going to recognize Him. You're going to see Him face to face. So God says get ready for those visions this season beyond the veil. Many of you have been crying out, God, I want to see You. I want to know You. I want greater intimacy. I just sense that God is saying this is a season over the next that God's going to begin to open up that veil and part the heavens and open your eyes to see, to see more and more. Glory to the see to the anda, the see to the anda, the see to the anda. Uh, did he, I was talking to a girl today, uh, and she just got back from Scotland. She says, I was in Scotland. I woke up one morning, and there was four like young children on my bed. They're like angels or spirits. Men in lemon garments, and there they were sitting on her bed when she's in Scotland. You know, I mean, God's about to do things that are going to blow our mind. You know, you not only got angels, you got men in linen garments, you got the great cloud of witnesses that are showing up. You know, who knows what God's about to release in these last days? But you know what? I also encourage you have a great have a gift of discernment. You know, because it's going to be deception. But God says, get ready for what for, for what He's about to do in this hour. How many of you guys have some tremendous things right now? Oh yeah, there's some great things. And before I forget. Tomorrow we got Yukaza coming. He's a friend of mine. He used to be part of our ministry uh, about eight, nine years ago. He used to play drums for us, but he's been in the Dominican Republic and Florida and Nashville all over ministry in the last several years. So I haven't actually seen him in about eight years. Tyrone, who comes sometimes, it's his brother, so he'll be here tomorrow night. And next Saturday we got Michael Danforth coming back from Yakima. How do we know Michael Danforth? Yeah. Well, some of you do, but Mike is supposed to be with us next Saturday, as far as I know. I'll check with him this week, but. Then we've got Dan and Nicole Lawrence coming back in a few weeks from, uh, they're from Wichita, Kansas. We had them during our 37 days of prayer here a couple years yeah. ago. And we got Stephen Seabury coming. He works a lot with Daniel Scout over in Greece and Muslim nations. They're getting a lot of Muslims coming to the Lord right now. It's just incredible what God is doing with the Muslims right now. And so, uh, and so Dan, uh, and also uh, he'll be here, uh, I think in about two or three weeks from now. I don't know the dates, but I mean, oh, God is good. Amen. Amen. God is awesome. Amen. And God is good. Tremendous God is good. Can, Candace, can I have you come up and pray for the offering, Candace? I just felt you're supposed to come up. Just give me a test or whatever on your heart, but then pray for the offering. If you make out a check, we're just we're a nonprofit faith ministry. If you make out a check, it's to my father's house ministries. But I'm just gonna have uh, Candace come up. <laughs> oh, you better go up with her then, all you ladies. <laughs> I did have something on my heart. Good. See, I knew I was supposed to call you up. Yeah, I mean, um, and I know, you know, giving is, is, is so important. And, and I, I, I love to give because I've seen what God can do. And he tells us to, to give. And he has rewards for us. And um, and so I, I I I've gotten out of debt, um, and and it seems like it, like you you hear this all the time that you can't out give God. That's right. Amen. And so I just pray that the Lord will just touch each person's <coughs> heart tonight to to um, encourage them to give and sometimes we give out of our need sometimes we give from our blessings um, so however the Lord is going to lead you to give 
I just pray Holy Spirit will just speak to you and, and, and tell you what, what you should give. But I also want to um, um, just read out of 2 Corinthians. Nine. Oh, can you turn the light on, Carrie? Yeah. Can you turn the light on the nine, nine seven. And and the word says, so let each one give as he proposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful heart. Hallelujah. Be cheerful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So I just pray for hilarious <laughs> offerings. Yeah. Hilarious. Amen. Hilarious. Amen. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and, and so we just pray, um, Father God, we just ask you to touch yes, our God. hearts. And Lord, that each person here will feel your presence and hear your voice. And know exactly yes, what he's Father. supposed yes, to do Father. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Father. Amen. Amen. God, I give one to you. Isn't our God good? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, uh, Jerry's got some raspberries outside. If you want to take some and plant them, right? Yep. Who needs raspberries? I, these, Who does it? Paul does. Okay. Who, you do? I need it. Okay. And some are less loaded with berries, so you'll get them. Get them this year. So get them in the ground tomorrow. First come, first serve. Okay. And uh, anybody that doesn't uh, get any tonight and wants some, I can bring some tomorrow night. So okay, or next weekend. All right. I want to tell you too. You know, we have a Monday morning fellowship. Every Monday we we start somewhere around ten o'clock. We really people start filtering about ten o'clock. The first. 45 minutes of just hanging out in fellowship. Then we, we really don't have an agenda. We just kind of see what unfolds on, on a Monday morning. Last we get a barbecue was Memorial Day. So I encourage you, if you, don't, if you ever have Mondays off, it's just kind of a, a fun time. Sometimes we'll play some on YouTube. Some of these radical guys we pull off YouTube sometimes. And, but it's always just kind of fun to see what God's doing on a Monday. And so uh, I have Brother Kevin. Come here, here Kevin. Hallelujah. Yay! Yay! With some over. Yeah, they come they up to the bottle and they drink it a lot. Last Saturday night I got a bunch of grapes and started throwing grapes at people. Of <laughs> course, <laughs> 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 get a bunch of grapes and throwing, throwing grapes at people. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Lord, just, just do, a, do a new thing tonight. Just release yeah, Kevin to whatever you tell him to do. Lord, no limitations. No limitations. Yeah. Lord, free yeah. reign. God, we don't care. We just want to go for God. Hallelujah. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Untie us all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, brother. Ooh. I will sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. I will sing. Come on. <laughs> oh, the horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. Yeah. Well, the devil tried to hose us, but we've got the song of Moses. <laughs> he tried to hose us with the song of Moses. Was it chosen? Was the last? <laughs> when was the last time you smiled at God? Oh, yeah. Just smiled at Him. Yeah. You know, depending on your theology, yeah. Or, <laughs> but within, you know, smiled at God. I thought that today. I said, you know, I talked to Him. I sing to Him. Yeah. When was the last time I just smiled at Him? Come on. So good. I got me. I got a new grandson. Oh, yeah. His name is Mateus, which is Norwegian for Mateus. <laughs> <laughs> and this kid is a happy baby. His mama, our daughter, is not married. And what happens is when you do it backwards, what happens when you have a baby before you get married? is that the grandparents get a chance to play. <laughs> He's moved home with us, all right? And sometimes they move back in with you. That's right. Oh, they have, actually. That, that, that's, my wife is ecstatic. 
But here's a picture of Mateus, and he's grinning at me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now I will do anything almost to make him laugh. Grandfather makes sounds and noises and faces, and this kid just responds. And I thought, the joy he brings me when he smiles at me. Wow. Think of the baby when you and, it's, and, you and everybody else shows me their baby and the grand. Oh, it's cute. The baby's cute. Oh, you, wow. your child's cute. And we're all showing all the grandfathers. We all got pictures. We're showing. You know, it's like it's crazy. You know, look at my, look at my, look at this one, look at that one, right? That kid. Is cute. But he's ours. I fell in love with this kid. My daughter isn't by blood. I'm married in, but he's my kid. He's my grandkid. And when he smiles. I light up. I just, my whole insides, it's like, I read the Proverbs to him in the morning. We come out with coffee early in the morning. <laughs> Mama gets up, because she's been up half the night usually. So I say, hey, you go back to bed. Hey, give, give, give to me. Come, come to Grandpa. You know, I'm sitting, put my feet up. And he waits, he looks. I got my coffee. And he looks, and he waits. I get the book, or the book, you know. And uh, either one. And uh, he starts grinning. And my whole insides just explodes. How much more, Daddy God, when we just look and smile at him? Don't do anything else because he, he, he rejoices in who I am because he's the great I am. He's not the great I do. He's the great I am. Now, without faith, it's impossible to please him. And when I'm grinning... I have the faith that he's there and watching. What are you grinning at all the time? Imagine that, an unbeliever. Say to you, what are you grinning at all the time? God, he's watching. Don't you grin at him? <laughs> I love what you said, brother. That's so, it's so simple that it, it's, it, it's awesome. I was in Texas, South Texas, on the Rio Grande Valley with Pastor Pam Neely. She'd call me. I didn't know. She'd call me down to pray for some people over the phone. They get healed. She said, you've got to come down. I said, okay. I come down. I don't know any people... And I'm in a, in, in a church where I don't know anybody except I just met the pastor. And a lady walks in with a, a walker, she, or crutches. She just sprained, severely sprained her ankle. And in the old days, when I saw somebody walk into a healing meeting and I was in ministry, I'd go, oh no, I'm going to have to do something. See, dominion flows out of be, being who I am. Not having to do anything, because God does it. But you forget that sometimes when you get self-centered and figure, oh my goodness. And so I said to this woman, what happened? She said, I sprained my ankle. She said, when? Just, just shortly, just, just a little bit ago. Is there pain? Yeah. Oh, okay. God's going to take care of that right now. And I heard it. And when I say that, it means I'm in that place, but I'm not going to pray for you. God's going to take care of it. God's going to take care of it right now. I said, so let me, can I touch your foot? She said, yes. So I, no, I touch your foot. She's waiting for me to pray. And she looked at me and said, I'm sorry, I don't have a foot prayer. <laughs> I don't have a foot prayer. I wasn't awake that class. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I bought the syllabus, but I didn't read it. <laughs> now, I'm not making fun. If you've got a foot prayer, please use it. But what I'm saying is that I didn't. And what I did was I was releasing the love of the Father because it's the anointing that heals. Amen. Jesus said to the woman with the issue of blood, be of good cheer, daughter. Your faith has made you well. Faith is what goes to the target to heal. And love is what sends it. Yes. If you were to say that faith was a bullet that healed rather than killed, the, 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 the bullet is faith, but what sends it, the gunpowder, is love. Amen. Love moves the anointing. Come Compassion on. moves Amen. the anointing. That's what moves the anointing. And so I just loved this woman in a godly, fatherly way. I just kind of let, it, let his love come through me. I didn't work love up. I yielded. Yeah. I share that. Every time I go, every place I go, my new age friends ask me what my sign is, I tell them yield. <laughs> I see a sign on the cross. I, I love it. I say it's, it's a stupid joke, but I love it because it's true. And they say, "What month is that?" I said, "Every month." Yield to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. 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 Great. And, and rather than do something, I yield to that which already is. You see, I'm eternal. God breathed into you. He breathed into me. Breathed into the dust of the earth. And mankind, man and woman, will form. I am full of God breath. 
Hallelujah. Amen. That's what I'm full of. I'm, I mean, no matter what the world says, and I listen to the TV, and what, which I don't do much anymore, but and read the, you know, and it's like, oh, you get the spirit of Eeyore on you after about five minutes of watching the news. <laughs> like, you know, Eeyore. It's like, Ray Hughes says, I would have thrown myself to the ground, but I'd be afraid I'd miss. <laughs> One of those days, you know what I mean? If I weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Hallelujah. That's not the word. That's listening to the wrong sound. The sound that light be. Here we are. Light be. We're light and sound. At our very, and that sounds new agey. No, that's old agey. We yeah. heard it first. Yeah. Everybody went back up from things. Oh, that's new agey, brother. And a guy kid says to me, he comes up to me and says, um, Do you know about energy? I says, Yeah. My father created it. <laughs> I got a friend that, that levitates in Las Vegas. He goes, Oh, good for you. How's that working for him? You know, I says, my father in heaven levitates the universe with a word. <laughs> what, are you, what are you, new? <laughs> Your vision is way too small. <laughs> you know, like, give me a break, buy a vowel, get a clue. <laughs> you know? I am. I already am. I'm eternal. No beginning and no end. Right. I'm made in his image. That's right. He's eternal. If I have no beginning and no end, then I am timeless. Mm -hmm. Never again say you don't have time. That's right. Mm -hmm. that's, that's giving into the thing of earth. See, it, eternity is not forever. <coughs> this blew my mind. <coughs> eternity is the authority over time. <coughs> devil's the only one doing time. Time is the devil's jail cell. Mm -hmm. His time's getting short. Yeah. I, I, I may not be in this earth suit forever, but I'm eternal. Yeah. My destiny continues in heaven because I've yeah. reconnected with my Genesis 128 inheritance through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. I am eternal. That's how I enter the rest. It doesn't mean I sit on my derriere, which is a good Christian word for a bum, <laughs> and not do anything. That's right. All kingdom work flows out of being rather than doing. I don't have to perform. I have to yield to the identity, the revelation of who lives inside me. Colossians 1.28, I believe it is, the mystery that's been hidden from the ages, Christ in you, Christ in me, the hope of glory. Yes. I am hoping, I've been sharing this all week, and yes. I'm coming at it from a different angle tonight, but when, I, when my focus is earthly, uh, I'm hoping for glory because I'm here. Yes. Colossians 1 28, I think it is. But Colossians 3 1 to 3, you see, I'm in Christ. In Colossians 1 3, I'm in Christ. In Colossians 1 28, it's Christ in me. So when I'm on earth, because we're here, right? This is where we are, earth, Amen. it's Christ in me. But when my focus is heavenly, it's me in Christ. Amen. Now, were you co-crucified? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Co-buried? Yes. Co-risen? Yes. Easter? Co-ascended? Oh, yes. I sit with him in heavenly places. Amen. I'm already there. I'm in the already not yet. I'm in the divine tension of where a Christian lives. I am already there. So where's my focus? Well, whatever I'm listening to brings my focus. Out of the abundance of my heart, the mouth speaks, and what I speak is what I walk into. Right. Yeah. Right. That's prophecy. What am I prophesying? Eeyore? Or am I prophesying the word? When I resound the word, I hear his word and resound the word, I am making my life a prayer of agreement with the Father. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Amen. I, I resonate the prayer yes. of agreement. My life becomes yes. intercession. Yes. I don't do intercession. I go from doing intercession into being intercession. That's right. Right. Intercession is not just about fixing a problem. It's the doorway to your destiny. Whoa. Yes. 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 Whoa. That was a good one. Yeah. You didn't miss with that one. <laughs> Little to the left, Michael. <laughs> All right. Now, I don't work.
worship angels, I worship Jesus, all right? Let's just get that out of the way up front. I worship Jesus, yeah, the yeah. Christ. But I do give honor to the ministering spirits of Hebrews exactly. 1.14 yeah. that he sends for salvation because yeah, I need all the help I can on, get. Amen. 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 <laughs> Anything goofy in the angels, I just tell the Father to release them. Release them. Let them do their job. I drank it. No, I wasn't drunk. I was a homeless drunk in Boston 26 years ago. 26 years, November 3rd. My last drink was November 2nd, 1988. Wow. wow. An alcoholic, drug addict, cocaine, down the throat, up the nose. And then Jesus got a hold of me. Straighten me right out. I went with a bunch of people that will go unnamed. Went to a group that I won't mention. Okay? But, uh, Everything I ever chased in the world, God gave me when he straightened me out. Right. He gave me a thirst that only he can take care of. That's right. He gave me a hunger that only he can satisfy. Right. And that's when I turn to him. I always don't. I'm not a sinner, yet I sin. It's by grace I'm saved. And that not on my own. So I can't boast. It's all him. I yielded to, I yielded to my... Identity. I yielded to my inheritance, mm -hmm. and he changed everything. Mm -hmm. He changed everything. Yes. Yes. You know, but I still had a lot of problems after I came to the Lord. I don't know about you. It wasn't a free ride. You know, they say you take the rum out of a fruitcake, you still got a fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. The isms. I S M. I self and me. I tried to get up and over those, and I had a hard time with that. I'd take two steps forward and go three backward, you know? 36 days out of rehab in Brattleboro, Vermont, I was bartending. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but I never picked a drink up. Thank you, bud. I never have once picked a drink up in 26 years. I haven't wanted to. God put me in a place of absolute mm -hmm. neutrality. He put me in a whole new dimension. And my ministry began at the bar at Stratton Mountain. Because people knew what an idiot I was, <laughs> what a high profile I was. And they'd bring their husbands, wives, kids, relatives by the ear up and say, do what he's doing. Uh -huh. mm. And as I'm pouring Budweiser's, which drives religious people crazy, I'm witnessing yes. Jesus Thank Christ. And people are getting saved on my bar. Yeah. Wow. The whole bar crew got saved. And we used to have prayer meetings in the liquor room behind the bar before we started our shift. Yes. It was absolute, do not try this at home, kids. <laughs> it was my call. Right. Yeah. Am I proud of that? No, I, think I was at one time. I think it's pretty funny, though, because that's, that's where I, that's who I was. That's where I was. God will meet you right where you are. My grandmother used to say that, Irish woman. She'd say, God will meet you right where you are. Just don't make them walk too far. <laughs> and I did. I'm not proud of that. I, I, I was, but I, I mean, I made a lot of mistakes. I did a lot of stupid things on alcohol. When I sobered up, I still did a lot of stupid things, but I didn't have the booze to blame. <laughs> I had to look at myself. I had to look at myself and try to get good, and trying to get good wasn't working. What I had to do was yield to his presence. Come on, that's and it. it's his presence that changes me. Come and on. spending time with him, because when I look at him, to see him is to be him. Yes. Come on, come on. When I see, all worship begins at the face of the Father. Yes. All worship comes out of, I worship yeah. from the place, not to the place. Right. From the face, not to the face. It's from the place of realizing that that's who I am. I'm his kin. We were talking about mm -hmm. kindness yeah. the other night. Part of Galatians, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness. Kindness just isn't being nice in its deeper meaning. Kind comes from the word kin. We're of the same kind, the same kin. We're kinfolk. Yeah. They say down south, we're kinfolk. Yeah. My kind is God. He breathed into me. My <laughs> kindness is not my kindness. I don't have to work kindness up. I have to yield to the kindness that's already in me. It's His kindness. Yeah. Yeah. It's a whole yeah. difference. The spirituality of subtraction. Yeah. <laughs> it's like not trying to get it. It gets you. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Realize the, the revelation of who I already am. Revival is awakening to that which already is. is. Come on, yes. come on, man. Exodus 14, the 15th and 16th verse. Moses is at the water. He's got angry Egyptians behind him, mountains on either side of him. 
right? And he does, as a good Israelite, what any good Christian would do today, when he heard the thundering hooks behind him of angry Egyptians that wanted to take them back and make more bricks with less straw, you know, Pharaoh changed his mind. And you ever heard, you know, a thousands of horse hooves coming down, meaning harm for you, I think you'd probably work up a pretty good prayer. I call it the 911 prayer. Hey! I've messed it up. Take it over, Lord. <laughs> How many times have you prayed that one? The foxhole prayer, right? You know what God says? You can read it in Exodus 14, the 15th and 15th, 15th and 16th verse. He says, Why whinest thou unto me? <laughs> That's God in his best King James. <laughs> why whinest thou unto me? What are you talking about? He says, Raise the rod and part the waters that the children of Israel may go forward. Now, we all know it's God that's parting the waters. We're not starting some new theology here. But he's saying, what are you praying to me for me to do what I've already given you the power to do? Amen. What's the, what, is, yeah. what is the rod in the New Testament? It's faith. Yeah. Raise the faith. Yeah which is what we're doing right now in the room, raise the faith in the atmosphere because the kingdom has come. The will of God is being done in this room tonight. Yeah, not because yeah. of magic, not because of my words, but because of the hearts of the saints coming together, one in unity. The Holy Spirit sees something that looks like heaven, and guess where he lands? Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Come on. Right here, right now. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not saying don't pray. I'm saying take a position and release the word of God from the place of victory. Come on. Amen. That's so yeah. good. That's good. I got a note here that I made. I might as well I wrote it. I might as well use it. Let me see if I can find it. My four-year-old granddaughter can work this better than me. <coughs> mm, if I can get this. Thank God for four-year-old. I know they teach me stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Come on. I, wrote a, I, I, had, I took the summer off because I almost died after I saw you guys last. My body stopped making red blood cells last June. Oh, last April, maybe. I don't know. I didn't catch up with me in June. I almost died. Spiritual Father was in, Wayne Anderson, some of you know him, was in my living room the night before our gathering, the I Am Gathering in, in, in Albany. He said, Kevin, he said, you know you're right at the doorway. My body just stopped making red blood cells. Did you, did you know something was wrong with you? Yeah, I couldn't walk to, to the other room. <laughs> it was like, I, I, I was like, I'm 62. It doesn't get old that quick. Something's wrong here. My body's not working like it's supposed to. And uh, so I, I said, Lord, all right, if I see sun, sun, sunrise, I'll go into the hospital. My wife laid her hand on me all night long to make sure I was still alive. I'll never do that to my beloved again. Yeah. I had not taken care. It was a spiritual attack, but I had opened the door by not taking care of the temple. Mm -hmm. Eating the wrong stuff, not exercising. I took the temple more like a shack. You know, I repented of that. You didn't have to give up chocolate, did you? I, I, I gave up every... I, I did not die. I asked the whole... I took my fleshly desires and gave them to the Holy Spirit every morning mm -hmm. and I put my hungers in the blood and the light of the gospel yeah. and he absolutely directed me to the foods I was supposed to eat oh, come on. I ate so many nuts and berries as I should, I should have been chirping <laughs> <laughs> and the sick part was and the other I should say the wonderful part was shut up you think <laughs> every once in a while I, yeah. <laughs> as the isms <laughs> was that I liked it I liked I was feeling good now I go into, I'm in the hospital since I was six I was in the hospital in Brockton Massachusetts about 30 miles south of Boston when I was six and my tonsils was taken out I haven't been to a doctor except to visit somebody and, you know and so I walked in and I signed my name and the nurse is walking me down she's real cold the, the intake nurse and she said so what do you do I says I'm in ministry she goes, what kind of ministry? I said, healing. She goes, <laughs> <laughs> And she says, so uh, what kind of ministry? I said, so, you know, uh, Christian. She says, born again? Holy Spirit filled? I said, yeah. She goes, me too. <laughs> oh, cool. Now we're hand in hand. She sits me down. And so she's talking about, she says, you know, the Holy Ghost is really big in my life. And this big guy comes in with a little machine to take your vitals. And he goes, did I hear somebody say, Holy Ghost, let's have a meeting? <laughs> 
So now the doctor walks in. He's kind of like a nominal Christian. He sees the three of us. He says, what's going on? Never mind. <laughs> they couldn't even take my vitals for about 15 minutes. It was awesome. It was awesome. I get upstairs, and the, the other doctor that's going to be my new doctor, right, he says to me, so you're in ministry. He says, yeah, question again. What kind of ministry? I said, healing. He says, what are you doing here? <laughs> He's a bit of a humanist. I says, I'm inviting you into my miracle. <laughs> I said, the appearance of trouble is nothing more than an opportunity for my God to show his word is true. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I forgave, I asked the Lord for the, his blood wash forgiveness of his son, Jesus. I received that blood wash forgiveness every morning on my deck. I said, thank you, Lord. And I released the joy of the Lord into my bone marrow and into my red blood cells every morning. Because as we all know, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The first morning I'm out there, my wife says, what are you doing? I said, I'm talking to my spleen. <laughs> it's biblical, honey. We looked it up. I said, it's all right. We're not getting new agey. Don't worry. And, and my body took over. I had, uh, last week, had blood work done just for a checkup. And my blood work was on the high end of normal, all the way up. And I went back to eating a little chocolate from time to time and enjoying an occasional Twinkie. <laughs> I never learned the Twinkie prayer either. Uh, and, and it's different because I'm asking the Lord what I should do and I'm feeling well with my soul. I'm feeling well. But I release the joy. See, we're at a point in time where uh, the move of God that was like in Toronto. Mm -hmm. was Remember the laughter? It right. split churches. It's Seattle, you had the revival center up here. There was a lot of laughter going on. Some people got upset. Some people thought it was real. Some people didn't. Everybody took a, you know, whatever. They, they say, well, it's flesh. Of course it's flesh. We're flesh, <laughs> you know. Some people it was real. Some people it wasn't. They were leaning into it. But that didn't matter. They were doing joy. Right. We have to go from doing joy. When in Lakeland, the second one in Lakeland that happened just a while back was about being joy. Getting up off the ground and doing something with the anointing. And the move of God that we're perched right now at the beginning of right. is manifesting the strength of joy. Yes. And we're going from healing ministry into the revelation of walking in divine health. Yes. Yes. Where my healing is behind me. Right. It's already happened in heaven and I'm walking into it by faith. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. yes. And quieting, it's about an identity revelation. I said to the Holy Spirit, I said, uh, I said, why are you doing with me what you're doing in my life? I was the drunken guy. What, what are you, that's who I was. And he says, I will never, never despise or let anyone despise the reality of who you are. Yes. And I don't care about your past because I know your destiny. Yes. Right. Amen. God speaks to us from the place of future completion our future completion into the place of our present wholeness from the future and pull it in and when I agree with it I send it back out and walk into it redeemed think about this one deem means to think he deemed her highly he deemed him highly redeemed means rethought God rethinks of me because of the blood of Jesus. He looks at me differently. Yes. But that's only half of it. A lot of the church stops right there. He does that and gives me the permission to do the same. So that I see myself as I really am as he sees me. Yes. I am love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, goodness, self-control. Even when I'm acting like an idiot. That's who I am. And the voices of the world, the sounds of the world, not the word, the sounds of the world would draw me in the other direction. That's a deeper meaning of addiction. The word diction, dictionary, addiction is adding the wrong word, the wrong sound into your life. Mm -hmm. wow. 
Wow. Now there's more to it than that. Okay. I know it because I went through it. But it doesn't matter if it's booze, drugs, sex, shopping, what, gambling. It's the, you're listening to the wrong sound. And when I hear the sound of the Father's voice, the sound of creation, and I resonate with that, I get back in tune, just like a string on a guitar that's been out of tune. I am retuning myself with the wor Word of God. Yeah. Whoa. That's when miracles happen. Because that's, yeah. that's when you're pulsating like Peter pulsated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming off of you. The revelation of who lives inside you is so big that yes. it comes off of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. There's now no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus who listen to the dictates, the verbal instructions mm -hmm. of the Spirit rather than the dictates, the verbal instructions of the world. Yeah. Who's, who, what do you listen to? Who's your daddy? daddy what are you listening daddy. to? Well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just fill yeah. yourself up. <laughs> and let it... <laughs> right now, everybody yeah. just fill. Just come on, daddy, fill up. True obedience is not yeah. following the rules. Yes. Hear me, I didn't say it's good to sin. True obedience, the fullness of obedience, Whoa. is not just following, not just following the rules. It's about opening your heart and your mind to the Father of lights so that you can be fully consumed by Him. Amen. 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 Yeah. The revelation of more. Already got more. I got all. Did you receive Jesus? What part did you receive? Did you get his elbow? You got his fingernail? What'd you get? I got all of them. So when I sing for more. I'm thinking for more of the revelation of that which That's I right. already have. That's right. That's right. Come See, on. the bride of... The bride of well, Jesus, thank you. <laughs> you thought I was going to swear. <laughs> Why don't you get the thank you in there? It's all right. <laughs> he knows my heart. <laughs> wow. Who was listening? Where was I going? <laughs> wow. Wow. About the bride. Wow. Say that again. I'm sorry. Oh, about the bride. Yeah, thank you. Oh, it was, that, it was worth the trip to Seattle. Somebody's listening. <laughs> thank you very much. The bride of Christ is already spotless. Yes. We just need to clean the mirror. <laughs> Think about it. That might sound cute. We need to clean the mirror. It's already there. Religious people will tell you different. That's years and years and years of religious. That's Genesis 3 7. That's the beginning of all false religion. 2 7. Excuse me, 3 5. 2 7 is he breathed into the dust of the earth. Eat the apple and you'll be like God, basically. Eat the apple. Don't eat the apple. They don't want you to eat the apple because you're going to be like him. You don't have to do anything to be like him. He breathed into you in 2-7. You already are. You, you don't have to are. do anything to... Yeah. You, you already are. You don't, have to, you don't have to do anything to please daddy. You just got to believe that his son did was yeah. enough. Mm -hmm. We got a new covenant. It's yeah. a better covenant. co They made yeah. me take four years of Latin in Jesuit high school. This is what I learned. <laughs> co -venant. Veni vidi vici, to come, co, to come together, to complete the circle. He's going to do what he does, I'm going to do what I do. He's always going to be there. It says that, that's why the Lord brought me to the Psalm 105. Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Give him thanks right now. You will make known his deeds among the people. That's right, you take the, you take the bus out, the glory train, and you take it out, the mobile. That's right, you sing to him, sing psalms to him. Talk of the wondrous works, glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord, seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face. The beginning of worship forevermore. Yes. My wife was actually says, Lord, I want to see you. She's the one with all the anointing. I just got the microphone. I married up. And she's awesome. My wife Cynthia. She sits at home on the couch and gets words of knowledge and texts me. She doesn't send me anything yet. It's late on the East Coast. It's crazy. So she says, Lord, I want to see you. Lord, I want to see you. I'm in New Zealand and I call my wife on Skype. And I don't get the face thing, so we get the, 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 the audio thing. What, honey? G You sound like an old Volkswagen. G-G-G-G-G. What do you Jesus showed up. 
<laughs> she was watering the garden up by the pool in Florida, right? She was doing, and the, the hose was over the watering the neighbor's yard because she was flat on his face. She was watering, and she heard the words, "Do you still want to see me?" Wow. And she said, "Then turn around and see me." And she hit the deck top. Boom. <laughs> She changed. She was a bit, 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 bit. <laughs> Seek his face for everyone. It's happened like three times. Wow. I'm up front doing this, and she's in back laying on the floor. God took her to heaven. She was looking. She never knew her real father. She had two mothers. It, it's, it's not a biological thing. She had one mother and then another uh, because she was adopted. Her mother, her mother had her uh, for the, and found out she was married to uh, an, uh, the man she was married to had another family. That didn't happen in 1952. So they sent her to a place in uh, Kansas City, a, a, an adoption place. And she got adopted by a woman from New Jersey. So she found her mother at the age of 30. They, her first, second mother helped her find her first mother. But she never knew her father. There was all kinds of secrecy and stuff behind it. When he took her to heaven, both mothers were there, and her father walked up. God, Jesus, introduced her to her father. Wow. wow. She's on the back. She's weeping on the, on the floor and going, what's going on? You know, is it something I did? <laughs> you, know, you know, it's like... <laughs> that was another good one. She didn't talk for a whole day. You know, but then she did. What a story. There were seven wow. in heaven for half a while. Yeah, it, it's like maybe sometimes she come out here, but the story... You see, she had died. She had died. She was a heroin addict in the streets of South Jersey, but long before I met her. We met in a 12-step meeting. All right? And uh, I'll just leave it at that in respect to those traditions. But... Uh, uh, she died of a methadone overdose in an ambulance in New Jersey. She was dead. Dead, mm -hmm. dead, dead. Mm -hmm. And she had the white light experience and came back to life. Whoa. God spoke yeah. her name. She said she was filled with volumes of light. Wow. wow. <laughs> so she had four children. I have four children. We were both divorced because of our addiction. And God brought us together. <laughs> Not all the kids were walking with the Lord. But the scripture we held on to was he saves to the uttermost. Yeah. The scripture that brought her in was, did you not know my body was, your body was the temple of the Holy Ghost? She said, no, I didn't know that. Oh. Someone had brought her to a church meeting. She tried everything else. Buddha didn't quite make it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got a story. That's right. It's true. Everybody's got a story. It's true. Everybody's got a destiny. The, 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 the story today is, find out who you are in Christ. Mm -hmm. I sat on that porch, a spiritual father of mine, Jim Chosa from Montana, said to me, I want you, Kevin, every morning ask the Holy Ghost why he's doing with you what he's doing. And I sat there every morning with this in my hand. And the first morning, he goes, I love you when you're my son. And I go, oh, I made that one up. <laughs> the second one was so blah that I forgot what it was. And by the fifth morning, I was starting to realize it was really talking to me. I went 36 days and asked him why he was doing what he did mm -hmm. in my life. Wow. And I started to get a sense of that smile that I started this talk with. Mm -hmm. I started to get a sense of who I was beyond the ego so that that could flow out of me in a boldness, not an arrogance, but a boldness because right. I grew up thinking I was an orphan. I had a mother and father but thought I was an orphan. Mm -hmm. And I realized that's absolutely impossible because of my father in heaven. And out of my identity, out of the revelation of that identity, that dominion flows. We were in Peru, and uh, oh yeah, last three times, three times ago. I don't know if you got shaman came up. Guy, he came up. Witch doctor shaman came up in the in the bus station in Chiclayo, and said to us, "I did not know my enemy was here." And I went. Cool. <laughs> he really upset him. You know, in the old days, oh my God, the shaman found us. Oh, we're well, going to turn you into a frog. No, we're going to turn you into a frog. I says, you told him you're going to turn him into a frog? I said, yeah. He doesn't know I can. The guy walked away. He was muttering. We like to call that squeezing the shaman. <laughs> Know who you are in Christ. It's not the time to get faith. When, you, when somebody's slithering up the aisle at you, 
you know, which happens. If somebody in front of you starts levitating, you know, uh, and crazy things start happening, you know, we had a we had witch doctors in the jungle on the Amazon. We had planted a church in the Amazon. We had witch doctors chanting at us, and the floor in the Echo Lodge we were in actually was moving. The guy next to me goes, the floor moving? I said, yeah. He says, what do we do? He says, stay steady. <laughs> you know, what are we going to do? He says, we're going to take the table of the Lord. Greater is he that's in me than he's in the world. And then we release the light. Amen. Now when I find fetishes, I, people go, throw that away, put it in the garbage. So I, no, take it. It's a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> and reverse the light. Reverse the curse. Reverse. I'm going to crisp some critters. Yeah. You want light? I'll give you light. I'll give you a nuclear megaton blast that will send you back to hell. <laughs> Oof. You know who you are. I was cool. No, we had we got attacked. My wife and the pastor's wife, Pastor Malena from Lima, Malena Malena Ginella, husband of Marco, our apostle who was with us, he's texting, she gets a vision, she's a seer, and a huge demon comes and throws a bucket of ice water on her and she's paralyzed. Goes into a hypothermic state in the spirit. But in the natural, she's she's freezing. My wife in East Greenbush, outside of Albany, New York, at the very same time does not see the demon but gets the exact same manifestation was paralyzed with her arms for three nights and couldn't move her arms like up over her head. So we got my wife on Skype. She goes, go get them, honey. Make them really sorry they messed with our family. <laughs> <laughs> I get out in the middle of that thing on the Echo Lodge and I let out a roar, a deliverance roar that was put into me years ago down in Florida. The lion of the tribe of Judah roars in exultation of who lives inside of me. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> and the demon in hell that can stand up to the love and light that's Jesus Christ. That's right. We don't hate people. We're against powers and principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. When we become the gift we are, those other agendas, those other religions, those other people who are afraid that are taking over the country are going to worry about us. Right. We're not going to worry about them. Amen. We need to go on a two-minute offense. You ever notice in football the team's not playing well at all? There's two minutes to go in the half at the end of the game, and all of a sudden they're moving the ball down the field. Does anybody know the football analogy I'm talking about? Two-minute offense, all right? Because all of a sudden they change their focus, and they're going down the field. There's only two minutes left. Guess what, kids? It's about time the church get into a two-minute offense. Amen. Amen. Right. Coming from the place of knowing who we are. Amen. Amen. Lower back. Who's going to pay in their lower back? Right, come come right now, right here. Come, God's gonna take care of that right now, right here, right now. Yeah. Pain in your lower back. How long you had it? Whatever I sit for a long time. Okay, can I put my? Is it okay if I put my hand in your lower back? Okay, right there. Thank you, God. Well, do you have pain right now? Do you have pain right now? A little bit, a lot, some. Okay, right there. All right, church, release the light of the gospel into her right now. First chapter of John, fourth and fifth verse, it's biblical. Prophetic drama. The earthly dramatization of a heavenly reality. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Right now. Fire. 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 I said, be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. We release the logo, the written word, and it becomes a rhema. It becomes kingdom, living atmosphere of heaven come to earth now. In you, on you, around you, through you. There's no way to get away from it. Right here. Give me your back right here. Fire! Oh, I felt that one coming. I figured you might as well enjoy it. What was wrong with your back, by the way? I woke up with it like that. You woke up with it like that? It was all kinked up. Yeah, like, I was, I okay, so get up right now. We're not going to pray ourselves in unbelief. Tell us what's right. going on. What, what was the manifestation before? It was the lower back this morning. It was all just it's really hurting. And now I work on my feet. Yeah. So I have had. Was it hurting when you walked in here tonight? Mine was. 
Uh, not as bad as it was this morning. Okay. Still All right, so what's going on right now? Bend over. Just Feels great. <laughs> <laughs> I think I gotta go back. Oh. That quick, God said he was going to do it fast right there. You take your hand, put it on her. Who's got more faith than you? Oh, you got in your back? How long have you been there? Take it easy. All right. Shoot him with that. Shoot him with that. Shoot him with that. Shoot him with that. Speak to your body and just say thank you. Just repent your body and release the joy of the Lord right now. Right there. Fire right now. All right, now I want you to come. I want you to come here. I want you to bend over. I want you to just have to get the get the waist right here, right now. Bend over the waist. Fire is on right there. Fire right there. That spine straighten up now too. That thing in your family background, that spirit that had been bothering your family for generations. Spirit of scoliosis, you go now. Go. Go. No place. You leave her now. Go. Now you go. leave. You're gone. You're defeated at the cross. Go. Go. See, he was bruised go. for our iniquities. Go. Things passed down to the family line. It's done. It's a lie. The devil. The devil's been messing around on a lying foundation. He's got to go. Now I command that spine to straighten now in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Sing a song, sing a song of joy into your back. I said sing a joy, 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 joy. Yeah, you have become my song and my salvation. I said yes, you have become my song. Fire. All right, what's going on in your body? Bend over. Thank you. All the way right there. We're not going to pray ourselves in unbelief. We're going to believe right there. That's the spot right there. It's from here. Yeah. To here. to here, from there to there, okay. Put your hand right there. I'm going to put my hand on your hand because I don't want to touch you there. There you go. <laughs> I'm being a good boy. I can't show you. Did you work with it? How are you doing? What's going on? You loosening it up? Yeah. Come on. Oh, 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 oh that's the way. Shout out. Shout out. That looks like 1963, the Peppermint Lounge. Shout out. Glad my earthly metaphors. Shout out. I said fire. Yes, God. Fire. Yes, fire. All right, I want you all to raise your hands. I want you to do the first great commandment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. That's fill up on his love, right? Christianity 101. Now the second part, the second great commandment is because you did the first. It's love your neighbor as yourself, which hangs all the law and the prophets. You're going to give it away. I want you to turn your back to the crowd. All right, here we go. I'll put my hand on your head. All right, now I want you to aim right at her back. This is not witchcraft. The other guys do witchcraft. We do love and faith. All right, here we go. On the count of three, and then let's just say in the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach. Now that's not a formula. There's power in the name of Jesus, but that's just so we all get together in unity, okay? One, two, three. In the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach. Do that again. That was good. In the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach. Yeshua going to get well. Right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on. Whoa, fire now. There it is. Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, whoa. What's your body feeling? Tell me what's your body feeling. We're having a hold of the sucker claws in there a little bit. All right, but it moved. It's trying to get away, okay? Right, one more time. In the name of Yeshua. I love a good fight for spirit. Fire. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, all right, here we go. We take all Ascalopius and Caduceus curses. That's the staff of Hermes. I love doctors and nurses, but it's the spirit behind the medical profession. You think we would have gotten a clue when you look at the two snakes on the staff, right? All right, right there. I love doctors and nurses. I love the medical profession. They've saved my life along with Jesus. Thank you very much. But 
right now where we are silencing the voices of anything that's not of the Holy Spirit by the voice of the blood of Jesus Christ, which is the strongest voice in the universe. Right now, we reverse the curse in your family line by the voice of creation, the voice of redemption. Now, Scoliosis, you have no place. You were defeated at the cross. You're going now. You're, you're gone. You're getting the hook. We're bringing in the tow truck. You're out of here. Now, all the way. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's going. You're going to sing a song of joy. Sing, we're gonna dance, sing, we're gonna dance, we're gonna have a I said the joy of the Lord is your strength. I said the word, 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 it comes alive. The joy of the Lord is your strength. I said his joy is your strength. And your strength is his joy. Oh yeah, his joy is your strength. And your joy is his strength. And his strength is your joy. And receive the gift, the mighty woman of God. Daughter of the King, that which is already yours. Right there. Sometimes you got to sneak up on them little critters. <laughs> right there, all the way. And I want you to sit, relax, right there, and you're gonna, it's gonna loosen all the way. That thing's done. It's done. We're not gonna pray ourselves in unbelief. Now. Together with me, as the ecclesia, God's ruling body of heaven, come to earth. We're the judges on earth. All right, ecclesia is taking. When Rome subjugated Judea, they not only beat them, but they infused all of Judea with Roman culture. Everything became Roman, and they subjugated them to the point just this much, except for revolution, so they wouldn't revolt. They had them under the thumb. They even wrote laws. So that they, the Roman, they wrote laws for the legionnaires, so that they wouldn't suppress the people so much that they'd revolt. Mm -hmm. You know when it says if they walk you, if they ask you to carry a pack one mile, carry it two. Yeah. That was that was, they had road systems, the Roman roads. They were known for it. They weren't miles. They were whatever they whatever they used the markers. I don't know if they were meters or whatever they called it in those days. Whatever the word was, okay. Mm -hmm. But the law was written for Roman soldiers that if they made a Jew carry their pack, they could only carry it one mile. Mm. Mm. They were breaking the law. Oh. Mm. So the Jew would say, no, you can carry two. No, 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 take, you, you, take your pack back. No, 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 man, it's all yours, you got it. Mm. <coughs> that's the time that's taking, we've taken things, scripture, out of context, but that was the sits and leave, and that was the cultural mores of that time. Wow. As the ecclesia, we are not supposed to take back what was stolen. We are supposed to overtake the total culture with the love of the Father. Amen. We are supposed to take our most radical, radical weapon is mountain moving, devil stomping, unleashed love. Amen. That's right. Oof. Mm. Take the word of God and put it into the atmosphere and watch it do because I am not ashamed of the gospel, as Paul said. It is the power of God unto salvation. I do not debate scripture with people. I haven't got time. I release it. Yeah. Amen. You go debate. I have no debate. There is. Yeah. The word of God is truth. Now, sometimes things take a little longer. And it's not because God doesn't like you, or he's busy in Sudan, or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right? The fact is, is Daniel 10. When the angel first showed up, Daniel hits the ground. Yeah. The because he's the first time you see an angel, unless you're Pat Holleran, <laughs> you fall and hit the ground, right? It was like, oh, wow. 
He says, get up, don't be afraid. When you first humbled your heart, heart, over here, I was asleep that class. <laughs> when you first humbled your heart to understand, your prayers were answered. When you first humbled your heart, you didn't try to figure it out with your head. You humbled your heart to understand your prayers were answered. Because you had faith. Yeah. You see? When you first, but it took me 21 days to get here with the answer because I was battling the Prince of Persia. I was battling the Principality of Persia. And I'm a little tired, but here's your answer. It took me 21 days to get here. The reason, the biblical foundation, why some, one of them anyway, is why some people get healed right away and some people don't. Some miracles pop and some miracles are in process over a period of time. It's because there's a battle going on in the heavenlies. Oh. Get a hold of some prayer partners. If you don't have prayer partners, get a couple of three people that you really have faith with and say, this is what's going on, I need your help, and have a covenant with them, back and forth together, so that they can not pray into unbelief, but they can believe. You set the target. You tell them what to do. Just don't let them scattergun intercede. You know, basically, set a target and tell them to believe with you for that which has already happened. Come on. Don't be striving and watch what happens. Watch what happens. That Exodus 14, 15, and 16 again. Watch what happens. It's already done. As the ecclesia, what we're supposed to do is bring the gavel down from that place of assuredness that it is finished. We are in the courtroom. When, when, when the judge brings the hammer down, the gavel down, there's no more debate. No more debate. No more witness. A witness is a proof producer. The Greek word is matus. And we as witnesses of Jesus Christ are to produce the proof that he is alive. Yeah, and signs and wonders will follow us because we yeah. believe. Yeah. 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 Amen. Oh, Shabbat. Shabbat. Oh, Shabbat. Shabbat. Somebody got a shoulder, like a, like a frozen shoulder? Frozen shoulder? Jordan, that That's you? her. <laughs> you too? It's, it's, I'm a big worshiper, and I use this hand to do a lot of my ministry. Yes. And okay. this past year, it's been trying to freeze up. All right, so you get you get the double dip tonight. You get you two for one. <laughs> Happy <laughs> hour. <laughs> get the 49.95 special. We're gonna rotate the tires, check the windshield, get the oil change. Right here. All right, so just relax right now. Now, I'm in an Episcopal service in, up, in upstate New York, which is really great. A friend of mine, an Anglican uh, minister named, he's got a healing ministry, a wonderful man of God, knows Jesus, his name is Nigel Mumford. Nigel Mumford was a British... Nigel Mumford. He was a uh, British Special Forces drill sergeant. Tough guy. Wow. With a compassionate heart. Became an Anglican priest. He's got 800 people on a Tuesday morning at a healing service at a retreat center north of Albany. He asked me to come and, and minister. All right, well, that's cool. So he says, and of course you've got a, read, a reading from the Gospels. And I'm thinking, yeah, anybody who knows me, I usually get it about the second or third song of worship, you know, because I don't want to come in with a canned thing. I want to give what the Lord wants to do now for you. You may give me scriptures ahead of time, but I'm not coming in to give a canned speech, as you can see. I'm here to release the Gospel under an open heaven and let him do what he wants to do. So I'm thinking, oh, okay. He says, and of course you'll give your, your Bible to the uh, lector, to the, 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 the deacon. And I'm thinking, well, sure, we're going to proce process. We're going to have a procession in. So did anybody ever remember Rocky and Bullwinkle, the, the cartoon? Remember the little guy behind the elephants at the end of the parade? Oh, yeah. that, that was me. But that's what I felt like walking into this deal. It's been years since I've been in a liturgical service. It was great. Oh, wow. And they take my Bible and put it on the altar. I haven't got a word yet. <laughs> Twenty feet in front of me, there's my Bible, and I'm going. Oh. <laughs> it was like, help me! I got my phone. Good. I got a 27 apps on that and 19 translations, and I've got no, there's no service. I'm in a dead zone. Oh. So he gives me. Uh, he, he gives me. I think he gave me Matthew. Uh, uh, Matthew. 29, 35-36. Jesus preached. He preached the kingdom in the synagogues, the gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of his rule and reign, the good news, and then went to all the cities and all the villages and healed everything. All right? So I gave that out, and that was cool. So I had the Bible, I had the word of God out, so I was, I was free. It was good. And so somebody, the first person, uh, says, if you're healing, I've got a frozen shoulder. I went, oh, beautiful. So come up. So I got my hand on her just like this, and, and I said, well, I've got a really good frozen shoulder prayer. Are you ready? And everybody's leaning forward, hearing this liturgical prayer. Oh, no. And I said, shoulder, frozen shoulder, defrost. 
Wow. And Clyde must have been laughing because her arm went up. Wow. He's looking at me like. I just took the syllabus and flushed it. <laughs> That's all right. Clyde does things in different ways. Okay, now move your arm. If he chased across to you like this and it's grabbing all on the opposite side. Oh, really? Okay, well, let's, let's surround it. They like, they, like, they, like, they like the move, don't they? It's like you gotta. It's like the little ball on the GPS. All right, all the way. You go now. All yeah, the way. You wait you you go. That's right. Go. Out. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Get out. 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 Dude. Reminds me of my friend James Burke before Maryville. God bless his soul in heaven. In glory now. He used to take all the songs from the 60s and 70s and redeem them. Great. Probably is awesome. Rolling in the river. I'll never forget in the oh, yeah. <laughs> Rolling on the floor in the river. God bless Bertha. Thank you, Bertha. All right, praise God. All the way. One, two, three, go. Amen. What do you got going? I need my ears and my teeth. You need you need your ears and your teeth. What do you need them? What do you need them to do? Oh, you need them. Oh, okay. Sorry, I. Get, I I'm a little inebriated, so I'm not trying to be a wise guy. I'm sorry. I apologize. I do apologize. I, I take healing very seriously. I don't take myself seriously. But I take the kingdom of God very seriously because the anointing is the most precious substance on the face of the earth. Jesus died so that we may have it. And, and so I laugh and giggle, not because I don't care, but because I don't know what else to do. You're free. There you go. They marched, they sang, and they danced in front of the advancing army because yes. they knew who they were in God's eyes. Yes. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be silly or funny or tell jokes in order for God to heal. Okay. Just be the gift you are Amen. and release the gospel the way he made you. Yes. That's the deal. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Besides, I was miserable for years, so I just like being happy. I'm not, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to be miserable. I'm going to do something else. That's right. So happy, happy, Ella. Happy, 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 happy. Fire. Oh, wish gone. Right there. I got you. I got you. So Father God, right here, right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, I believe for your ears. I get things in my ears, too, but that don't matter. My audiologist was right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But I've seen, I had deaf ears open all the year. I had them open. In, they've opened in Africa. They've opened in Peru. They've opened in Texas. They've opened in New York and I still got mine in and that's yes. cool because I believe people in wheelchairs with the anointing are going to have people jump out of wheelchairs yes. Yes. and they'll still be in wheelchairs I believe that yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. The, the enemy would get in your ear and in your ear pardon the pun and say what do you think you are you can't even hear so what are you going to do with him I'm going to release the anointing that's what I'm going to do back up devil you know when you hear the sound in the spirit you hear this sound you know you're winning the sound is beep 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 that's the sound of the devil backing up <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, now I got you think. It was a song in Toronto. I think it was Jeremy Sinnott, one of the, uh, during the move there. And there's two worship leaders, but I think it was him. He had a song that was, Open wide your mouth and receive good gifts. And people were getting gold teeth and all kinds. Open wide your mouth and receive good gifts. Open wide, open wide tonight. Jesus already ready won the fight. I said, open wide and receive, receive good gifts. Ba, 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 ba. Now I'm going to take the word in Aramaic that Jesus said, and the word was ephatha, be open. But not that the ears would be open, but that the heavens would be open. And under an open heaven, all things are possible. So with me, church, ephatha. Yeah, Jesus. That lion thing. Oh my God! It's 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 it's, it's spreading. Yeah, I was in Des Moines, Washington. You go to church there, everybody roars. I don't know how that started. You ever there? In Odd, Odd, Four, Odd fourteen. I was there at the Roaring Revival. You're not lying, are you? I'm sorry. Shoot, no, I'm not. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, now release the fire. 
the fire, the passion of the Father's heart. Father God, now release your angelic help now, the ministering spirits of Hebrews 1.14, to do what they do. Now, the seraphim, the fiery carriers of your passion. Now. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I'm over here with my brother here. He told me earlier that he had a problem with his eyes, and that's why during worship, when my hands were burning, I came over. The Lord said, Now. And I said, Really? He said, yes, now. I didn't move by the way. I repented, asked for a second a second uh, chance, and he says, Now. That's when I came to lay hands on you now. Lacoma, you don't have a chance. I'm in Peru. Not this trip, the trip before last. And God's opening blind eyes. I mean, he's just there opening. It's like crazy. He's just opening blind eyes. Right? And so I am drunk and inebriated in the Holy Ghost. And I got that. And so the translator is saying, I says, what's wrong with this guy? He says, he can't see. He says, you mean he's blind? He goes, yeah, one eye. I says, okay, what's his name? He says, Jose. I start singing, Jose, can you see? His eyesight comes back. I mean, God, they must have been laughing in heaven. The poor translator looks at me, who is theology, all the pieces. And the guy's in Spanish going, did he just do what I think he did? True story, no lie. Jose, can you see? Pop. So I have a specialized ministry for guys named Jose who speak Spanish. <laughs> no, praise God. Well, the funny. When you're in the spirit, God does crazy, crazy, wonderful things. And that doesn't mean he won't heal if you just if you're very serious. He'll do what he'll do whatever he wants through you the way he wants to. He's sovereign God. He can do what he wants, when he wants, however he wants. He's God. He just wants to use us because of the smile. He wants to see the smile of faith. Yes. He wants your insides to smile. That's what faith does. It makes your insides. You get happy cells. Yes. Your cells do a happy dance. Yes. As a matter of fact, who's got a stomach? Who's got a stomach problem going right now? Maybe a burning or a stomach or having trouble eating food. Is that you? Okay, stand up. Anybody else have any stomach things going on? Other, okay, well, we're going to start with the stomach and he'll work from there. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Come to me here. Okay. Put your hand on your belly. Right there. I'm going to put my hand on yours. Is that okay? All right, I got one hand there and one hand there. I'll be over in a minute, otherwise, we'll have to call in the octopus. <laughs> God. Father, thank you for what you're doing to my brother right now. And I proclaim you have the mind of Christ. Father, fire the messages of love and life and healing and miracles into his mind. And I say to your cerebrum right now, your, your cerebellum, your other part there, the medulla part there, the oblongata, you receive the messages of God's love now. And synapses fire into the body now, the messages of heaven. Your memory is going to be better than ever. Clear out all the stuff that's not needed. Clear out the ram. And now anoint his forgetter for the things that need to be forgotten. And have him remember what you would have him remember. He does not have a memory problem. He's the son of the king. He has an anointing and inheritance born in the blood of Jesus Christ. That's right. And we take him before the table of the Lord now and enunciate his inheritance. You're going to watch your eyesight get better. Your belly right here, right now. No hurry, no worry. I want you to enter the rest right now. Hebrews 4. It did not profit them having not been mixed with faith. I just want you to relax into the word of God. I'm going to take the word right now. By his stripes, you were healed. You are healed. In heaven and now on earth by faith. We, we drill a highway to heaven with our faith. And the substance of heaven rushes out now. And absolutely the joy of the Lord, there it is, absolutely overtakes every cell in your belly. Right there, right now, right now. 
Right now. Every bit of it now. There you go. Peace, 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 peace. Like a river. Peace. Get it all, get it all, get it all, get it all. Drink it in, drink it in, drink it in, drink it in. Like being thirsty in the desert. It's 115 in the desert outside of Las Vegas, and you're drinking it in like water in the desert. Right there. Say, Holy Spirit, I receive. Ooh, my miracle, my miracle. Because, of Jesus. because of Jesus fill me now, fill me now. Like, never like never before thank you Lord thank you. you are my Lord you are my Savior, are my Savior. Ooh, I receive total salvation every part of my body right now because your word is true and exploding in every part of my body fire Rest than that right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's one way to take care of a laundry list. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm walking like you've been a bad end of a three day or put your hand. You too, alright, we're in sync. Alright, put your put your hand on your belly. Oh, it's time for a song. Gonna say what's right, not what's wrong. Gonna keep my eyes. Him, he is the solution. Forget all that duck in your stomach, all the pollution. Right here, right now, right here, right now. I said, breathe in deep now. Now breathe out all that stuff now. There it is. Sorry, didn't mean to foof all over here. Somebody find some pigs, quick. Imagine the poor pigs. I mean, the poor pigs. I mean, falling all over the cliff. The apostles must have been a howling. I mean, that had to be a hoot. I mean, it doesn't read that way in the book, but a lot of things don't. King James had problems. Hey! Now I say the joy of the Lord is your strength right now. Shaka boomba, shaka boomba, shaka boomba. Shaka boomba. Which is tongues for I think your belly's getting healed. It's still there. Your belly's still there, yeah. I am. That was happening down in Florida in Pensacola. That there was a friend of mine, Kevin, the other Kevin, he was, he was a little light on hair up top and I was 290 pounds. God was supernaturally losing weight and growing hair. And we were going to go. But we were afraid we'd get in the wrong line. <laughs> That would have been bad. It would have been bad. So bad. Cool. bad, bad. Cool. <laughs> Fire tunnel. Fire tunnel. Boom, boom, boom. All right, now I'm going to take, just like Jesus did when he calmed the wind and the waves, he calmed the storm and the boat, he went, peace. I believe when you believe the word you're saying, it releases that word into the atmosphere. It's not just a word, it's the substance of heaven. I believe when I say peace, I'm releasing peace. Just like Jesus did, he calmed the wind and the waves, and now we're about to calm the storm in your body. I look you right in the eye, say these eternal words, the peace. Standing. You can't figure it out, like my friend and Vinny in Brooklyn said, you can't figure it out. It's a peace. We let Vinny take the offering, she's beautiful. We're going to take an offering, now we can do it easy, we can do it hard. That's what we're going to do. It's a blessing, you know. How you doing? How's your belly feel? Take a breath. Breathe, breathe in. Breathe out. Tell me how you're feeling. Um, um, um. <laughs> Almost a few buzz. It's still, it's still tight feeling like All right. Wait more. Um, does it feel different yet? Um, not a lot. Okay, well, get ready, because here it comes. Get ready, because here it comes. All right, church. All right, raise your hands right now. Fill up on his love. Fill up, release the love, release the anointing. In the name of Yahshua. Be loose now. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. In the name of Yahshua. Hamashiach. Be loose now. Peace. In the name of Yahshua. Peace. Now breathe in. Now out. Just move. Thank you, Lord. I receive. 
because of you. Because of you. It's all about Jesus. The finished work of the cross. Jesus. Yes, you stand up. You're supposed to stand up and give her a hug. There you go. A real hug. There you go. She's like Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Supposed to work the other way, Nancy. The other way. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Really good. Praise God. What you got? Stomach. Stomach. Oh, it's good to have a stomach. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, here it comes. 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 Here it one, Houston, we don't have a problem. I got the best. 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 Come on. All right, now just say I receive. Uh, I receive. A total healing. A total healing. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got anything wrong with your knee at all? Your knees at all? This, 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 a little bit on this one. Yeah, okay, that's right. Put your hand in your knee. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All the way. Oh! 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 Yes, Lord. They're only dollars. I got you, I got you, I got you. I got you, I got you. Okay, you can sit now. <laughs> My life in the ministry. <laughs> Kevin for the ministries, Kate, that's fine. <laughs> Before we keep running, I just want to take an off ramp really quick for Kevin. Uh, you can make it out to Kevin Ford Ministries, I guess, if you want. I have a drink of water. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, the smart water. I'll, I'll, I'll put $15. I'll, I'll put this on. Well, Father, we just want to thank you, God. How many is George tonight? Yeah. We've got some ministry, but I just want to leave an offering. But for us, we'll take off before we get a chance to get an offering on. So, Father, I just thank you right now for Kevin Ford, Father. We just thank you. Hallelujah. He's going to drive the Ford. Heaven, glory to God. We just thank you right now, Father. Put some money in the offering. God will tell you what to do. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Kevin Ford Ministry, we're just full. Pass this over here. Put thousands of dollars, ten thousand, hundred thousand, millions. Thank you, Jesus. Good job on the young God. Isn't the Lord good? You know, it's a great story. There's a, a, when we were in Peru this last time, God opened Peru up to us through James Berkeley when he was alive. And Wayne Anderson went to carry on James's legacy. And he called me on Skype me uh, two years ago and said, you won't believe what's happening here. God is just opening blind eyes before we even praying for people in the streets. They've opened up the country governmentally to us at the presidential level. We're actually I, I invited into the home of the woman who's probably going to be the next president of Peru. Her father was a past president. Her name is Keiko Fujimori. She's a woman of God. She's full of the Holy Ghost. And we bring her communion every time we go. We're invited wow. into her home. There's a very good chance that she'll be the next president. Because she lost the presidency by a point and a half to the guy who's present president, Alanta Umala. But he can't run again. There's only one five-year term. They don't run concurrent terms. She's the front runner. And unless something really crazy happens, there's a good chance she'll be the next president. Right? That kind of favor. That's going to be a year from June, I believe. Um, at any rate, the reason I say all that is that this... this wonderful things happening in that country and God said that we're a blessing to go there we're, but we're being blessed because he wants us to learn what it's like to walk with kings come on and bring it back to this country yes. and deal with political government and yeah. business and tie the church government and business together come on, for the come on. prosperity of this nation that's right that's right so I get a divine appointment with a guy that runs as the president of five hotel casinos. 
and he's Christian, but not to, you know, not like we might look at it, but he's a good guy. And so we talk to him about the Lord, and he says, I want to take profits, and I want to build an orphanage. Could you guys handle that for us? We've got a congresswoman who invites us into Congress every time we go and gives us a tour. Under the guise of giving us a tour, she gets us into the congressional chambers and she opens up the congressional meeting with a gavel and we stood there, Anita was there the last time, and we prophesied prosperity and Jesus Christ over the nation of Peru right from the congressional speaker's desk. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, wow. Favor there. Favor there. Amen. But the thing that gets me the most was there's a little gal, oh that's cool, there's a lady who grabbed me, she was an older woman, and she said in Spanish, would you pray for my grandchild? She's only four or five months old, in the hospital with terminal, she's terminal, does not have kidneys. She's not functioning. Would you please take this blanket and release the love of God you've been talking about into this blanket? She was obviously a woman of the word because she knew about Paul's handkerchiefs. Right. So we did, and I just let it be. That was Thursday night. Saturday night, they walked down the aisle, the whole family, with the baby in the blanket, released from the hospital, manifesting healing. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! I've already given, the reason I'm telling you these stories is the Lord is talking to me as I'm sitting here. Whether it's money or prayer, praying for our ministry, the next time I go to Peru, I'm bringing you with me. Mm -hmm. in the spirit that's wow. what this all right i'm bringing you with and we're on facebook and you get, get become a friend on facebook and you can see what he's doing so whether you give finance tonight or you covenant with prayer that you would just release the gospel through us when we go don't pray for us don't pray for peru release the light of the gospel the blood covered light he he, he spoke light Light be. We're made in His image. When we speak, we speak light. That's right. Not New Age light, but the light that's in the Psalms, the light that I talked about in John, first chapter of John. Mm -hmm. But it goes through Calvary because we're in the New Testament. We've taken a position in the New Testament, and our words go through Calvary. They're covered in His blood. Yeah. Wow. Blood covered light through us when we go. That's how I'd like you to intercede if you Come be so on. kind. You covenant to do that tonight with or without funds, yes. it matters not because yes. he's my source. I appreciate everything you do and we'll pray for that before I go for your prosperity because the blessing's about you, it's not about me. The blessing's about him coming through you and covenanting in a place of prosperity. The Latin word prospero means to sow. Prosperity means you're sowing your life Money's part of that, but you're sowing your life, your heart, your vision into his vision. The Latin prefix pro means for. Pro vision means you've got his vision. And when you have pro vision, it brings provision. Amen. So I will bring you to Peru with me the next time I go. I am making that covenant promise right now. When are you leaving? Amen. I'm not, we may go in July, but I'm not sure. If not, we'll go in the fall. But I'm just letting you know, you've already taken the offering, so I'm not asking for money. I'm covenanting with you if we have your hearts in this, because we can use all the intercession let's pray, let's we can just get. Pray over your Lord, I just thank you right now for our brother's offering, Father. We just ask you to multiply the seed, Father. Yep. Everyone has given to my Father and hasn't given that strain, Father. We just thank you for the provision, for the vision, Father, for you doing down there, Father. He's continuing to release defrosted, but defrost the church down there. Yeah, yeah. The frost, Father. Yeah. Or take the church off of ice, Father. Yeah, 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 yeah. Throw yeah. out the, throughout the rice and bring a little wedding going down there. With come on. With Jesus coming down. Father, come on. But we just say what you're about to do in Peru, Father. Just do mighty things. Do, do mighty things. release the heavens down there, Father. Lord, break the spirit of Catholicism over the mm. Religion over the... Lord, we can get religious as Pentecostals as Christians. As we get bound. God, Jesus says, go and tie the donkeys and colts. Lord, we just give him that last yeah. suit. Go and tie the church. Go yes. and tie the generations. Go and tie religion. 
and loose them. The Bible says they're restrained by their own affections. God, he'd unrestrained them in the name of Jesus to release them into the glory and the presence and the liberty of the Holy Ghost. We just pray for freedom to come in. Freedom to go wherever, wherever Kevin's going right now, Father. Thank you, Papa. Lord, and I just speak health in the king's yeah. body. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. God, the godly disciplines, God, for eating, yeah. right, and exercise, Lord. Yeah, every minute. Yeah, every minute. Release us from the temples of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Lord, shout to the honor. No, no, no. Thank you, Jesus. Me, me, fight me. Thank you. I receive that word. I receive this offering. As a priest of yours, Father, and a minister to the people, I just release the bless of God. Abraham blessed Isaac, Isaac Jacob, Jacob his sons, and here we are thousands of years and later. And I release the bless of God upon the people. And all that wave of glory that comes from this country into South America hits the wall and comes back even bigger now, Father. I thank you that we take part in that living water, a tsunami of your love coming back upon this country in revival for what we've sown in the nations. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, thank you. 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 Oh, Everlasting. Everlasting. Righteousness. Yeah. The joy is mine to give. Open up more. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. My joy is your strength. Every hour, day, night, or noon, look and behold. My everlasting riotous shocking delivering healing joy. Ha! Who am I to stop you? Thank you, Father. Lord, we just praise you right now. Just release God's glory in one another. Just look at each other. Just release God's glory in one another. God, we just release God's glory. Just release the glory of the body. We release your glory. Let's give him glory. Release her. Release. Release. Somebody have an angle or a foot problem, like even maybe a flat foot? Anybody got a 
you're flat foot. Is that you, flat feet? Come here, God wants to give you arches. Sit right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Let's take a look at it. Do you mind taking your shoe off? Flip the flop. Down here, that'll be a sign of the wonder. <laughs> What's your name? Hmm? Cecilia. Cecilia. No, you got a little bit of an arch there. That's good. Okay, but it, is it? Does it hurt? Is it? Um, it's. I sprained it a long time ago, okay. and it's never been the same. And it start. Sometimes it feels wobbly. And oh, okay. It's not, wobbly? It's not how it used to be. At all. all right. Well, it's going to be better than it was. It's Amen. not going to be like That's it was. It's going to be better. Right? Yeah, all, right. Yeah, all, right. all right. Right here, right now, Father. No more wobbly. Jesus. I speak to the bones, the muscles, the ligaments, the tendons, and now I say come in line with the word of God. I take Ezekiel 37, the dry bones. Can these bones live? You bet they can, Lord. Prophesy to these bones. Prophesy now. Life to these bones. Church, prophesy right now to this place. Prophesy. Prophesy. Life now. Pain you go. Discomfort you go. Work better than before. We breathe the breath of life and creation now. Agree with the word of God. Resonate with the sound of his voice now. Into this leg and we say thank you, Papa, for what you're doing right now. And suddenly there came a rattling and the bones came together. And suddenly there was a rattling and the bones came together. <laughs> Alright, I want you to get up. I want you to pray in an unbelief. I want you to walk around on it. Walk on it. I think your other foot off is going to be even there. Your other foot off. Your other foot. The girl with the removable foot. I know, sorry if you like it. Yeah, I crashed it. Okay. Friendly game soccer. All right. Sit in the happy chair. Friendly. What's going on in the soccer? What's it feel like? It's well, come here. Let's get, let's get it. Get it. We don't want to stop this. Take your hand. Already, everybody, put your hands up. All right. Now at her foot. Now. Pain. You go now. You are about a symptom. You did a good job. You pointed to the problem. But you're not needed now because Jesus said, it's finished. It is finished. We bring the gavel down. It is finished. We prophesy life. Dry bones now. Live. Right now, wiggle it around there. All right, Jesus. Turn it around. All right, come on. One, two, three, gone. The reason sometimes I'll do it. I, I, is it alright if she touches your foot? I want you to touch his foot. Re, re, release what you just got. Who's got all faith in you? You just got healed. <laughs> the church be the church. It's not me, it's us. The best thing I can do is relieve a deposit. Leave a deposit. I was in uh, the Rio Grande Valley down in Harlingen, just down by about eight miles from the Mexican border, down by Ramosa. And um, the pastor Pam, uh, she. she started a, a healing school, which we do, and I said, all right, I want you to take this implantation, now I want you to run with it. I want you to go out and I want you to do the stuff. So I figured, yeah, how many times have I said that, right? And so anyways, they did. That was in October. By Christmas, they had over 400 salvations. Wow. People getting healed, right? They go into a neighborhood and they say, hi, we're praying for people. We're praying for you. We're praying for your neighborhood. Can we pray for you? Wow. Oh, you mean like, yeah, like right now. Is there anything you need prayer for? Oh, sure. Oh, thank God, you're Christian. We thought you were Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> I, see, I see you coming up though. Yeah, we're just happy Christians. We just want to pray for you. We don't want anything. We don't even want you to come to church. We just want to pray for you. <laughs> really? You mean, is your church good? Yeah, it's really nice, but you don't have to come. We don't? Can we come? Yeah, sure, you can come. You want to come? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, we have all kinds of fun. We were reading people's psalms. Not the palms, because the other guys, I was reading the psalms. And look at your hands. I don't you look at your hands. That's what I said to the people, the new age couple. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe in all that. Oh, good, good. Just look at your palms. You see the stripes? Yeah, I think those are the stripes of Jesus. I think yeah. you're going to be a Christian. <laughs> really? Yeah, you don't want to live an unfulfilled prophecy, do you? No, you say these words. <laughs> good fun. All right. Be loose now. Just release it right now. Be loose now in the name of Jesus. Ezekiel 37, the dry bones right there. We take the word of God and release the word of God into that 
the logo, the written word, becomes rhema, becomes the living word right now in your foot. Thank you, Jesus. You shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. All right, don't you get up and just kind of walk around. Release now, all the way. Just kind of walk around. Was it a pain when you first came in? Or was it discomfort? What was it? No, I. it was never hurting. It's just when I go like that. Okay. Which it's not hurting. I do that. Okay, so do that. So make it hurt. Right there. Is that where it hurts? Yeah. Does it still hurt? <laughs> Listen, okay, keep going. Release it in the name of Yahshua. You shall not crush it. Hey, 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 hey. Wow. Jesus is the best. I said, He's the tops. He can heal your feet when you're wearing flip flops. <laughs> Holy Ghost likes to ride. <laughs> I'm in Dallas, I'm at a, a convention, ICA convention, and, and I'm down for breakfast, and a guy comes dressed at 8 o'clock and 7 o'clock in the morning, dressed like Brett Maverick. He's got a cowboy hat on, he's got guns, he's got the thing, and what are you doing? He wants to do a card trick. I said, leave me alone, I want coffee. I want coffee. You know, and the guy's not giving up, he wants, he wants to do a card trick. Okay, do the card trick. There's a button, leave me alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know. So he does the card trick, and, I, and, and he told the joke. I said, it's a joke, isn't it? He says, what do you mean? I had a friend that's Christian now, but he used to be a, a magician. And you cannot watch the trick and laugh at the joke at the same time. When they tell the joke, when you're laughing at the joke, you don't see the trick. God does the exact opposite. When you're laughing, he slides in a healing. When you're not looking at the problem, not necessarily laughing, but when you're not focused wow. on the problem, Ooh, right. he slides in the solution. Yeah. yeah, that's why I laugh and giggle and tell stories. Not because, because I like to. It's who I am. But the fact of the matter is, it's not because I don't care. It's because I'm diverting the attention away from the problem. That's Healing School 101. Don't look at the problem. You're gonna raise somebody from the dead, which is really cool. Don't look at the dead person. They're already dead. They ain't gonna help. Them. <laughs> so if somebody just lost somebody. I'm not being insensitive. I apologize. But the fact is, is that you want to look at the spirit and look at the spirit that's above and call the spirit back into the body. And as long as they're not, they're in the, if they're in the tunnel and you can see, if you're a seer, they're in the tunnel and they're looking towards you, they'll come back. If they've turned away, they're already gone. Let them go. Say thank you. Well, yeah. Wayne Anderson told that to a bunch of kids down in the South Island of New Zealand years ago. And they went to, they, they went to a, a, a funeral home and started laying hands. They wanted to see if it had worked. I mean, it was good. They didn't, nobody got raised, but it was really fun to watch, I guess, because they were running around and it was crazy. But there's that kind of intensity of believing that it can happen. Walking in the miraculous, walking in the already, not yet, just like your foot's getting healed right now. I want you to walk on it. Do what you do. Do whatever you do to make it hurt. Yeah. It's tight. Yeah. All right, give, give it up. Not for the Give me that foot. Give me that Right here. Sheesh. All right, church, now, in the name of Yahshua. Be healed. Oh, Jesus. Be loose now. I speak of the bones and the muscles, the ligaments, the tendons, and release the love of the Father through the Holy Spirit. The blood covered light that is his foot now. And we say enough is enough. We draw the line in the sand and we say, It is finished. All right. That's going to be good. All right. I'll take that on faith. Do the thing again. Do the foot thing again. Yeah. Be loosed. Jesus. Wow. All the way. Good deal. All right. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Give it a hand. That'd be good. Yeah. Who has trouble breathing at night? Who's got breathing problems? Maybe even has to use a machine. Is that you? You? Okay, right here. Did you use a machine at night? Yeah. All right. Right here. This is an act of faith. I'm holding your nose. <laughs> this is not the time to yell, be loosed. <laughs> God's going to take care of you. That's why I'm having fun because I know he's going to do it. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Now everybody, God breathe in, right? So breathe in the breath of creation right now. Breathe it in. And breathe out the other stuff now. Breathe in the breath of creation now. Light be. Now out with the other. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Through you, Holy Spirit, we're releasing the gospel now. The kingdom of God is at hand. Your son, our brother, as is his inheritance. We're not begging or whining or wheeling. We're enunciating his presence at the table of the Lord. For your promises are yea and amen. Their delicacies are piled high at the table. And we say, thank you, Daddy. We're smiling. Faith. We're smiling. A lady named Florencia down in Vero Beach, Florida, had the machine on while we were there, carrying the little the little uh, oxygen pack, and took it off, laid hands on her. She never put it back on. That was two years ago. I saw her the other day. She is breathing free, just like you're going to be right now. Thank you, Lord. All the way. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I receive my miracle. Receive my miracle. Thank you for the restored sight, Father, as that starts to manifest. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All the way. Every bit of it now. Anything that's not in line in this body now comes into alignment by the Word of God now, by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Dad. Did you pain in your legs at all? Yeah, can't you stand up? I heard that loud and clear right here. Right here. Do you have a do you have a, a cartilage missing? Meniscus? Oh, okay, right here. Okay, I got you. So once you sit down, it'd be easier if you sit. I'll just sit right here. Thank you, Lord. Everybody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your word is true. Your word, Your word is, true. is true. You're going to make this leg. You're going to make this leg. Just like you. Just like you. And I command you to work as you were created to work. Now, there it is. Yeah, both of them. Two for one. God can do two things at once. He makes twins, right? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ra la ba te ba la ba te ba la ba la ba la Today's your day. You're standing in the right line. Ra la la ba 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 la is there a tingling in them? Do you have a tingling or is it just a discomfort pain? What is it? Okay. Inflammation, you go now. Amen. Go on. Come on, walk with me. Just walk with me. Rise, take up your bed and walk here. All right. The working of miracles. The somebody gave the gift of faith, the somebody gave the prophecy, the somebody gave the divine healing, and the others, the working, the performing of miracles. The Latin prefix per means through. He's forming through you the kingdom of God right now, right now, right now. Walk, walk, walk down. I want you to walk, want you to walk fast, walk fast, walk fast right there. And then come back. Thank you, Lord. It's in the going. It's in the going. It's an act of faith. Arise, take up your bed, and walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they brought that blanket to that little baby right there. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Breathing. You. Are you, saying, are you still on yeah, yeah, we're still on breathing. We're still breathing. Breathing is good. Jesus. Sit down. We're going to check in with you in a couple minutes. Right here. Okay. Put your hands right there. I'm going to put your other hand there. I'm going to put my hand on top of yours right there. Breathe in now deep. You speak to your respiratory system now. Say, come in line with the word of God. Now stand up quickly. Right here. Right now. Stand up right here. Fire. Jesus. Fire. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> now breathe deep. Oh. In again. Fire. Healing fire right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Joy. 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 Okay. All right, I'm going to grab it right there. Jesus. Father, well, you know what you're doing. I don't have a clue. I was the only guy available tonight. He's using me. <laughs> right. Get out of bed. You're going to work. Oh, it's a joy and an honor. Are you kidding? Breathe now. But you're placing my nose. Jesus. 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 Those of you who've been praying for, you're going to experience this. Jesus. Saying thank you. You're going to experience the manifestation of His presence. Jesus. Right here, right now. What do you mean, Jesus? Jesus. Breathing. Asthma. Okay. Spirit of trauma, you leave her now. Spirit of trauma in her family line, and anything that may have happened to her now, we reverse that curse and we release the light of the gospel now into her trauma, you leave now. We release the peace of Jesus Christ and the joy into yourselves now. Right there. Stand up now, you're going to breathe. Like never before. Don't let him go. Asma, you are illegally parked. You have to go. Spirit of infirmity, leave her now. Spirit of infirmity, leave her now. Immediately. Right now. And that thing in your family line, too, that's come back there. Spine straighten now. That spirit way back in your family line. You go now. You go now. That's right. Now. Body come into alignment. Spine straighten now by the word of the Lord. And now that opens up now. The respiratory system comes free. Because whom the sun sets free is free indeed now. Woofa. Now joy. I said joy. Joy unspeakable. Joy. Joy. Joy, 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 joy. Joy. You're just a joy machine. There it is. You're getting a Holy Ghost tickle. Jesus. There it is. There it is. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Bubble up. Bubble up. Bubble up. Bubble up. Bubble up. Bubble up. There it is. Bubble up. 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 There it is. Here it comes. Now your body, your body, oh, there it is. My doesn't do the happy dance. So all your cells do the happy dance. Right there. There it is. There it is. There it is. Two. Say, I receive it because of Jesus. Holy Spirit, fill me like never before. Right now. Fire. Now back straighten all the way now. There it is. Give me four more. You don't have to take the starts, it's okay. I remember I was snorting so loud one night in a tent in Vermont, Grand Cook told me to be quiet. This piggy, he said, I've been enough. Oh, who did? Graham Cook. I said to Wayne Anderson, Graham Cook gave me a word. What was it? Never mind. Why doesn't everybody stand together right here? Grab arms right here, right now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How about some teeth issues? Right here, right now. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to Axe. 
the book of who wrote the book of Acts? Chapter four. Boldness. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled and they realized that they had been with Jesus in his presence. And seeing the man who had been healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it, which is what's going on now. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, the bad guys, saying, What shall we do with these men? For indeed that a notable miracle has been done through them is evident to all who dwell in Jerusalem, and we can't deny it. So that it doesn't spread any further among the people, let us severely threaten them that from now on when they speak no man in his name don't talk about Jesus so they called them in and commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name of Jesus but Peter and John pretty much laughed at them and said you know whether it's right in the sight of God to listen to you more than to God you judge if it's between you and God I'm going with God for now we cannot speak things which we have seen and heard so when they had further threatened them they let them go finding no way of punishing them, because the people, since they all glorified God for what had been done. For the man was over 40 years old on whom this miracle of healing had been performed. And being let go, they went to their own companions and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said to them. So when they had heard that, they raised their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, with you now, you are God who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them. And by the mouth of your servant David, as he said in the old and the Jewish scriptures, why did the nations rage? This is what's going on here now in this country and around the world. And people plot vain things, and kings of the earth took their stand. That's why we're supposed to be with kings, right? Yeah, yeah. Kings said, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ, just like what's going on in this country. How much this country's changed since I was a kid is absolutely devastating. And you guys that are a little bit around, a little bit more than me, you know what I'm talking about. Things have changed. Culture's changed, TV's changed, everything's changed, right? Yep. Right here, for truly against your Holy Spirit, servant Jesus, whom you anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, were gathered together to do whatever your hand and your purpose determined before be done. Now I'm going to pray a kingdom prayer for you all. Just receive it right here. This is a Papa prayer. It's an apostolic prayer. Now, Lord, we're smiling here, look on their threats and grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word yes lord by stretching out your hand to heal just like we've been doing tonight and the signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant jesus and when they had prayed the place where they assembled together was shaken and they were all filled with the holy spirit and spoke the word of God with boldness. With me now, Father God, Father God. Your, through your Holy Spirit, fill us like never before. Fill us with boldness. Fill us with peace. Fill us with joy. Fill us with your freeing power of love. That we may go in the revelation of who we are and release it to a world that doesn't have a clue. Father God, this week, just give me one divine appointment and let me be the gift that I am. And release your power, and release your, power your, love, your love, into that person, into that, person, into that, circumstance. Into that circumstance. And when I rejoice, and, when I rejoice, and I return like the seventy, I know you'll say, I saw Satan fall like lightning. I saw Satan fall like lightning. Now, between me and you, that's not when Beelzebub took the tumble out of the choir. That's when the powers and principalities are taken down. One healing, one prophetic gesture, one deliverance yeah. at a time. It's the ultimate form of intercession. You take away the strong man's ability to harm in this region. One healing, one deliverance at a time. And all God's people said, Amen. Thank you for the opportunity.
to be the gift I am and add it to the gift you are. I've only been here twice, but it's really easy to minister here. And it's not because of what I do, it's because of what you do on a regular basis. You set a foundational atmosphere of love and hospitality. And that's the same root word as hospice, hospital. You make it very easy because of your hospitality for the word of God to be released here. And I thank you very much. Amen. Amen. What you got, brother? Amen. Amen. And you're right, that'd be this neat. Mm -hmm. Okay, meniscus. Ready? Here it comes. We see meniscuses show up all the time. Meniscus. Meniscus. It's time to appear. I believe, I believe, I'm praying with no fear. Your word is true, and now his right knee is going to be new. Your name's John, right? <laughs> Joe. John? Joe. 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 I had the J, right? Joe. You can have the J. Joe. Sit down. Yeah, sit down. Guys, sit down. Yeah, sit down. I'm going to heal the knee and not wreck everything else. <laughs> yeah, they were bouncing there that night in Des Moines. Bodies everywhere. You're supposed to leave the wheelchairs, not go out in them. Thank you, Jesus. Now I just proclaim a notable creative miracle in your body because of Jesus. His word is true. Father God, release your holy angels into the storehouse of heaven. God made it once. He can make it twice. He knows the recipe. Stop moving your leg right now. Stop moving your leg right there. Right now. Father God, just release right now. We had an angel show up. Pat Holler and saw him. Sorry, an angel show up in San Diego with eyeballs in his head. He had eyeballs. It was really cool. Yeah. There was a lady there with no eyeballs. <laughs> you think it was a match? Yeah. Uh, pretty cool. It was really cool. And, and also, we're, we're laying hands on his yes. leg right here and believing. Everybody oh. go, in the name of Yahshua. I'm a sheep. We got off the plane. It was 101 degrees a week ago. And they had forest fires, wildfires in San Diego. 12 wildfires out of control in northern San Diego County coming towards the city. All right? And we're ministering. So we're going to pray for rain. We're going to intercede for rain, okay? So what Wayne Anderson did, he said, everybody bring umbrellas in a prophetic gesture. No rain on the forecast for 10 days out. That's all they did. And the next day, 10 days, no rain, 0%. Rain, dry, fires, roaring, wind, Santa Ana wind coming off the desert. So we prayed that the wind, and we're to knowledge, that the wind would be reversed first to an onshore flow from the ocean, that the humidity, which was 5%, would rise, and that it would rain. And everybody's going, yeah, well, you're healing headaches and pain. Leaving, but you know, we're talking rain, you know. So bring the umbrellas. They brought the umbrellas and danced like children. Four nights. We extended the meetings one night because of what God was doing. On the night I left, somebody came running in. It's starting to sprinkle outside. It was raining heavily in San Diego. And when we saw the Doppler radar picture, the two places where the last two fires that hadn't been contained is where it rained the heaviest. The Doppler was yellow over the fires. I left two nights later, they text me on, on Facebook, message me, and they had flash flood warnings in San Diego. How cool is that? I don't think God's got any problem with your eyes, they're going to come, or your knee, the meniscus. Now, His word is true. I want you to look at my brother here, look at that face, all right? And when you see his face, when the Holy Ghost brings his face to you tonight or tomorrow or the next day, don't pray for him. Say, thank you, Lord, for what you're doing for his eyes. That glaucoma is done. Thank you, Lord, for Joe's new meniscus. You see this face? You say, thank you, Lord, when the Holy Ghost brings it to mind. Just for a minute. You know, if you got a lamentation and you want to go into deep intercession, please do. But basically, it's thank you, Lord. Your word is true, and we receive it for these people. Now, Father God, everything you've done tonight, continue to fill them up. Continue your word to manifest in their bodies and in their lives. And Holy Spirit of promise, seal up this healing that nothing would be stolen. And now I release the joy of the Lord into you. Now, drink it in. Drink in the joy. Party. Amen. No we'll mad. I'll say one Thank you, guys. What are you feeling? Thank you. All the way, Lord. All the way. Thank you.
It's feeling better. Give the Lord glory right there. Come on. All the way. All the way. America, the Lord, all the way. All the way. Meniscus. Let's get in line. Line up. Where? Line up, everybody. Oh, there it is. All right. Oh. I put you on Facebook. Yeah, I'm down no, the you're yes, I am. I don't make a face at the floor. I don't let the face look good. I'm going to pray for my dad's sister. Right, yeah. You're a mighty woman of God. That's right. Anything in your past can silence the voices of all the past that come in your life. But anything, any words that were spoken, you will say, I'm going to get a face with somebody else or anything that was spoken. You take the person by releasing the identity that you are a mighty woman of God. You have the bloodline of Jesus Christ. And as the hand of the Lord, we proclaim you are the body of Christ. We're going to line up. As soon as she gets back from the bathroom. And when they finish, you're the body of Christ, the bread of oh, heaven, you're not broken, he's not broken, you're not broken, you're not And now, the blood of Jesus, I proclaim, the blood of the line of Jesus, you rise above the disease of the angel, above the world, I put none of them upon you, you've got a new bloodline, communion with the name of the Lord, and communion is based in Passover, the angel of the Lord will pass over. Passover was about an inheritance. That night, those that did not have the sign of the blood of the nobles, the angel, the death angel, the angel of the Lord, passed over those that did, but those that didn't, the first one, was killed. It's all about an inheritance. You have the inheritance. You take the blood of the Lamb and put it on the doorpost and lintel of your home, of your body, and in doing so, in prophetic gesture, we cry out to eternity, there is a lamb inside, and the angel of the Lord will pass over, he's passed over, and you have a new inheritance that has nothing to do with rheumatoid arthritis, and now inflammation, you go now, fire the Holy Ghost, heating up your joints even now, the bottom of your feet, right to your body, fire, 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 right there, fire, Arthritis, you are gone. You are dead. You are defeated at the cross. And now we have the honor and joy to destroy that which has already been defeated by faith. And we say, Thank you, Lord. She's already getting hot right now. Feel that? Your hands are tingling. That's all. All the way, Lord. Right here. Right here. Right now. The Holy Spirit moving on right now. Right now. I said, Fire! Fire, 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 fan the flame. Grab the spot right there. Fire, fire. Come on, Take a breath, man. I want to knock you over. In the old days, early, Mr. I would have resorted to anything. Bad breath. Put him down. <laughs> yeah, pickle things. The pickles are of God. <laughs> onion. Oh, onion stew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy Spirit loves onions. I love onions. I love onions. You feeling the heat? Move your legs. Move your feet. That's it. Do it. Now. All right. I'm going to turn you around right now. Turn you around right now. I speak to the joints and the muscles now. The bones and we prophesy life. That's Ezekiel 37. Right. Dry bones live now. Live now. Skeletal things with joints. Skeletal things. He walks in his body and comes again. He walks in his body and comes again.
We not only remembering the body, but remembering the body. Yeah. The prophetic giant is an unction behind you. that healing is he wants the body of Christ to come together. He's doing many things in skeletal and bones and all that arthritis and all of that stuff real quick. All right. Pharmacopoeia, you are called to no account now. All residual effects of pharmacopoeia. We silence your voice by the voice of the blood of Jesus Christ and we reverse that curse. There is no residual effect, no addiction. We're adding the word of the Lord into your body now and having the glory explode in your very body. Right now. The glory of the Lord explode in your very bloodstream now. Blood brings oxygen to the body, and glory is the oxygen of heaven. Right now. There it is. Yeah, yeah, come on. Fire on Hi. Did you know that uh, this is going to be red one right here? Can, uh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, we're out. Go back. Three, two, one. My father's house dot com. Oh, okay. So my father, yes. The whole father. meeting, my yeah. father's, and that's this my part. That's yeah. Mike yeah. Lorenzo. You can pick the streaming videos. My oh, awesome. Ministry. On that website. Okay. Yeah. My father's house ministry. I missed the first part. My father's house ministry. Oh, oh. Very good. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's lots of good stuff as well. On top of this. Very beautiful. Do you go here often? Awesome. That's that's why I'm running the camera. That's very good. Blood yeah. of Jesus flows through your veins, pumped to the beat of a loving Father's heart. At the right sugar, so we at have the right, right pressure, yeah. at the right heartbeat, because you have merit in the heartbeat of the Father. Your heart minutes ago, his heart. Now your heart beats in sync with his heart right now at his table. His promises are yea and amen. We take the blood of the lamb and we put it on the doorpost and lintel of your heart and we proclaim there is a lamb inside Jesus the Christ. Right? You have a new bloodline by faith. There is a holy exchange that is taking place right now. We got what you deserve. He got what you deserve right now. And you know right here, right now, we proclaim a notable creative miracle because you rise the Father and Jesus the Christ.
Is Kevin going to be here tomorrow night? No, I don't, I don't think he's going to be here. Yeah. Uh, maybe another uh, guest speaker. Okay. Yeah. Fire of the Holy Ghost right now. Right now.